Are you missing the creative touch to your photography by using just auto? Do you wish to achieve more? For a start, auto doesn't know what you are taking. You need to tell it. The subject could be an athlete, a wild animal, a building or a landscape, or even a social event. Each subject requires its own know-how and that affects how you take it. Even the magic of auto can't do that. It requires your intervention. I start with movement and an accessible subject, water. This can be a river or a waterfall. They can be interpreted in a variety of different and artistic ways. First, let's look at the perfect average, which is what auto gives you. The water will probably be overexposed because the surrounding bank is much darker, fooling the metering. Different photographic interpretations are possible. Freezing or blurring water are two obvious choices. Both require the photographer to use a different camera mode control that alters the time a shutter remains open. This is done on the mode dial, usually found on the camera's top plate marked by an S for shutter speed or TV for time value. Both do the same thing. Now access to a full range of shutter speeds from several seconds to a minute fraction of a second and of course all stations in between. When using auto or program the camera sorts out the correct shutter speed and aperture for an accurate exposure. But now I've changed things to shutter priority or time value I am choosing and setting down how long the shutter now will remain open. The good news is that the camera will automatically find the right aperture to go with my choice, but as we shall see, there are certain limitations. Time to experiment. Choose a fast shutter speed, say one thousandth of a second, to freeze water. Go to the other end of the scale and select a long shutter speed, say an eighth of a second, and the water, because it is moving, will be blurred. For this you may need a tripod or use the image stabiliser in camera or lens, otherwise the entire image will be unsharp because of camera shake caused by a long shutter speed. The photographer can experiment at all stations in between, even beyond the stated values, but here a problem may arise. If the shutter speed is so brief that the camera cannot compensate with an aperture that is wide enough, the image will be underexposed. The same applies at the other end of the scale, but the other way around. A long shutter speed requires the camera to close the iris right down to a tiny aperture. But again, if it cannot do that, the image will be, on this occasion, overexposed. In both cases, the camera should warn the photographer. All of this is controlled by one other factor, the weather or intensity of light. Broadly, a dull day is best for long shutter speeds, a sunny day best for short shutter speeds, something that can only be determined by trial and error. However, on sunny days, best of course for short shutter speeds, the photographer can use a filter that reduces the amount of light reaching the sensor so that longer shutter speeds can be used. Also, on a dull day, when the light is less intense, the ISO value can be increased for shorter shutter speeds. Personally, I feel that it is best to wait for the right day, which is true of much of landscape photography.
Earlier I touched upon exposure. Waterfalls are often located in dark ravines or under dense foliage. This can create a huge dynamic range between a dark bank and much brighter water. If the bank occupies more than 50% of the image, matrix metering can overexpose the water to a pure white. This does not look right, especially if, for example, peat is being washed down, adding a subtle brown hue. To maintain color and detail in water, change metering to spot. Save to raw and, if necessary, lighten shadows in post-production. It is more difficult to tone down overexposed highlights. I will discuss metering options in a later program. Already we are miles from auto and instant gratification. But if the photographer is looking for greater creative activity for their images, real photography away from the convenience of auto has to be considered. These techniques are also used for other photographic subjects featuring movement, such as an athlete or birds in flight.